Hello my friends, it's Nina and I got a lot of clothes. I got these clothes from YesStyle in May. I was finishing up college. It was a stressful time. I just wanted to treat myself again. <laughs> I'm gonna show you everything that I got from YesStyle and hopefully this video is helpful because I intend for these hauls to be helpful because I know YesStyle can be overwhelming to navigate. It was overwhelming for me, <laughs> but I got a lot of stuff and it will be a try on haul so you can actually see what it looks like. But without further ado, let's try on some clothes. So I think for this video to be more helpful, I'm gonna give you some background information on my size and all that. So my height is 172 centimeters or five foot seven point I would consider myself pretty tall for Asian fashion, I think. Some things that might be one size and might be intended to be oversized might be just right on me because I'm a long person. And then my waist is around 26 or 27 inches. I did buy some pants in this haul and they actually fit, so hopefully these measurements are helpful to you to get an idea of how these clothes would fit on you. But now that that's taken care of, let's get into the actual clothes. So I'm gonna start with the bottoms just because they're the first thing that I can reach. This is also like the hardest top to wear. I don't understand how people wear off-shoulder things. So the first thing I will talk about is this midi skirt. It is this pretty long skirt that ends towards where your calves are and it has this black and white floral pattern that just I think goes great with like a t-shirt and then some chunky shoes on the bottom. I used to not really be a skirts person but lately I've just been liking longer skirts. The waist is elastic and for me it fits. I like the material and in the inside it also has this black lining so it's pretty thick. You're pretty covered but I thought a skirt was very necessary for the summer. Y'all if you don't mind I'm just gonna leave it like this. I, I, I have to move my my arms a lot. I'm not bringing down my top anymore. And the next bottom I got are these high-waisted, what are they called? I actually have my list of everything that I bought. So these are elastic cuff cropped pants. These are high-waisted pants that go up to where your calves are again. They're pretty cropped. I would say that I know I'm wearing sweatpants with this top. This is the reality of YouTubers. The pants go up to around here, I would say, but I think that's also because I'm a pretty tall person. But they're just fun pants. They're kind of like cargo pants, but without the cargo. And I like that they're high-waisted and have this light material. It's not too light where it's like, what's the term? Fragile? The material is pretty nice and you can just wear it with a cropped top and it makes a nice, simple, light outfit. And I also got another pair of the same pants, but in this khaki color. I would pair this with a nice black cropped top and it just makes me feel powerful. So I got the black pair and the khaki pair I'm pretty sure there's also a green pair I would have gotten those but I just realistically don't wear that color of pants so I just got these and I really like these pants I was actually very nervous to get these pants in the first place because shopping online for pants can be a nightmare but I got these both in large and they fit like a glove honestly they fit my waist nicely where I can breathe and I can sit down comfortably I can stretch my legs do the splits and I think that's all the bottoms I got oh I didn't get a lot of bottoms well moving on we are going to the top and I'm going to start with a simple cropped camisole top. It's just a very simple top, a closet essential. You can put jackets over this, coats over this, whatever you want. You can wear it by itself when it's super hot. And I like that it's cropped so I can easily wear it with high-waisted pants because all of my pants are basically high-waisted. I may have also made the decision to buy multiple colors of the same top. With my style, I just like to have a lot of basics that I can mix and match. So I don't think it's the worst thing to buy a lot of the same top. So I got the gray one, the black one, this brown one, this pink one, this khaki-ish one, and then this white one. I can make like 30 outfits with these. I thought it was a good decision. Anyway, you don't need to do that. <laughs> the next item I'm going to go into is this t-shirt. It's this plain t-shirt with a sleeve that kind of goes like a half sleeve. There's like a half sleeve, a three-quarter sleeve. I would say that this is about a half sleeve. I really like the material of this. It's not that thick, but it's like it's thicker than a normal t-shirt, I would say. It just feels really nice. It was pretty popular on the website, so I wanted to try it out. This is a size medium, and I would say that it's still pretty loose on me, so... That's a pretty good size for me. And then I also got this shirt in the color coffee. And it's a pretty thick material, so you could wear it on like a breezy spring day. I didn't mean to say that. Or on a light summer day as well. Next items I'm going to go into. If you haven't noticed, I like getting multiple colors of the same item. <laughs> that might be some people's pet peeve, but honestly, I think it's efficient. But the next item I'm going to talk about is this long sleeve shirt. This is definitely a thinner material than the shirts that I just showed. I would wear these on a breezy day, tuck them into some high-waisted jeans. And then, of course, I got the same shirt in black. So these are one size shirts. They're kind of oversized on me. Not extremely oversized, but they're still pretty loose so it's a nice comfortable 
fit. You've probably come across a shirt on YesStyle, but I got it myself. It is this short sleeve blouse. It's this sort of light linen material. Very breezy, perfect for the summer. If you look closely, it has this striped pattern. And these are also one size. I also got the same top in this white color. It's like a creamy kind of white with the same striped pattern. And I really wanted blouses. I like the material of this. I like the feel and the lightness of it. I understand why it's a popular shirt. I'm going to talk about some dresses that I got. I'm not the biggest dress person, but for some reason, I just wanted to try some dresses. So first I will talk about it doesn't fit into the screen but first i will talk about this dress that i got it is this long sleeve dress that goes up to for me it goes literally up to where my knees are like it cuts right here i thought i was going to cut a little longer but that's fine at the waist it has this elastic and it literally hugs your waist but i like the figure of this dress and it's nice to wear on a summer day i could imagine myself wearing this near the beach but i don't really like going to the beach eating ice cream but I also don't need ice cream because I'm lactose intolerant. I'm just not really a summer person, but I got a lot of summer clothes. And then I got the same dress. Actually, no, this is the shorter one. There are two options of lengths for the dress. There's a short version and a long version. I got both. I did get a white version of the black dress. It's still the same length, but I also got the short version right here, which is definitely a very summery look. The dresses are one size. The long dress went down to my knees and then the short dress went somewhere on my thighs. <laughs> but if it's too short for your preference, wear some shorts under, wear some spandex under, do whatever you want. The next items I'm going to go into aren't very summery, but what else do you expect from me? <laughs> I had to get some wintry clothes. So I went and got myself some turtleneck sweaters. I also did go and buy other colors. <laughs> I got this nice, warm beige color. You could wear this on a coffee date. And by coffee date, I mean a date by yourself, obviously. You could wear these turtlenecks under coats or just by themselves. And then I also did get a black one. My closet is just made of basics. I think that's the best way to go. You always have an outfit. Also, of course, you don't have to buy multiple colors. Just buy the color that you like. Moving on, I got a cardigan. It's a simple, pretty long, gray knitted cardigan. It also has these sort of slits on the bottom. There's not much I have to explain about the cardigan other than that it's a great outer piece. You can wear it over the camisole and some mom jeans. Basics! And then I did get the same cardigan in black. And then finally, just two more cardigans. These are shorter than the cardigans that I just showed you. They go to where your hips are, I think. I got one in pink and then I got one in this nice brown color. I just thought it'd be nice to have a fun color and then a more traditional warm color. And I like that these cardigans aren't super long just in case you don't want all that material hanging down there. These cardigans are knitted as well so it's going to keep you warm but it's not overwhelmingly thick but i think that is everything that i have to show you for this haul i'm just going to bring my shoulder top back down again i hope that this haul was helpful to you and that it gave you some ideas of what to buy on your style if you wanted to buy anything and i also do want to mention i do have a code for your style my discount code or coupon code is nina10 every item that i showed you in this video will be linked down below so it's easy to find but other than that thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bring it in and goodbye my friends